My hand, so if you want to check your um, clearance application code, you know that before you can start your line clearance, you have to use your clearance activation code, and that is after you have paid your acceptance fee. So for those that have paid their acceptance fee and coming to ask me how to check the clearance activation code, this is the process. You need your clearance activation code to start your online clearance and also to end your online clearance. So this is the cover. You put in your login details. You click on login. So this is my own portal here. As you can see my name at the top. So this medical questionnaire that is here, mm -hmm. just leave that one to you. So this medical questionnaire that you are seeing here, leave it to you. So some people paid, but they never actually see the usefulness of that you have to now. <laughs> so click on this menu button at the top here, on that same line with Uniben, you click on it. You see this My Data, you click on the My Data. You see our uh, applications, lead based data, clearance data, personal data, study cost, payment. This is payment. You click on this payment. This accommodation data, this is where you book your hostel. Personal data, this is where you correct. You can edit that your personal details, blah, blah, blah. Clearance data is for clearance. So click on this payment. So when you click on the payment, you scroll down. You see all this payment ID here. Yeah? This is where you, all the payments you have made. So for this, all the payments I have made, as you can see, Acceptance fee, acceptance fee, acceptance fee. So I tried to pay my acceptance fee myself, but I was unable. And I thank God the money did not owe, so I gave somebody to pay it for me. So you can see the acceptance fee there. So you click on, so this one that is paid, acceptance fee paid at the top. You click on the payment ID, P6517, blah, blah, blah. When you click on the payment ID, you wait for it to load. So once it loads, then you, do, you can choose to download the online payment slip. You can choose not to download it. But if you are looking for your clearance attribution code, you scroll down. All these things that they write here, you scroll down. Once you scroll down, you will see it here. You see this area where they write clearance attribution code, activation code. That's why we see LRO here under this net amount, under above this response amount approved. That is your clearance attribution code. You copy it and you insert it for your online clearance this one here this is it copy and insert it for your online clearance so that is all okay and for those people that want to learn how to correct your personal data that you feel perhaps you want to change it you want to change your personal data those things are there you want to change it maybe you put a wrongness of key or blah 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 you go to this uh, arrow again click on my data once you click on my data this is personal data you get you click on this personal data and you wait for it to load. Once you click on personal data, so this is it. The personal data, you can change your address. This is my address. This is my next of kin, blah, 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 blah. So if you want to edit it, you will edit it. You click on this edit at the top here. Once you click on the edit, you wait for it to load. So you have the, you can edit it. You can also change, you can edit it anyway. So if you want to change also for those people that want to, so when you have a DD finished, you save and confirm. Now for those people that want to also change their, what do they call it? Their phone number, the phone number or their email address. You want to change the phone number or your email address on the, your Kofa. You click on this arrow again, click on my data. Once you click on my data, you go to where, where will you go to? You go to this base data. This is even base data. Yes, you go to base data. When you go to base data, you click on this edit at the top left hand. This edit at the top left hand. Click on this edit at the top. Once you click on the edit, then you see it edit base data. This is the email address. You can edit it. This is the phone number. You can also edit it. So, and after that, you save it. That is where to make your corrections. So, you go back. You have to also check their course. Their department, blah, um, blah, blah, blue. You want to check your course, you go to this study course that is under here. Click on that study course. Once you click on the study course, you go down. So you see Department of Marketing, that's my department, faculty, faculty of management science, MGS. So when it's time, if you want to register your course, this is add course list. That's when you register your course, but you can't do that now. So this is. What again? Then you that thing again. Let me go back to my base data. So that is how to do. So stop coming to my DM. If you want to do any of those things, I've explained how to do it. So, gracias. Gracias.